everyone thank you so much for joining me today so in today's video i've got a really fun card using stencils and embossing powders but first of all i want to share with you these gorgeous stencils that a colorful life designs recently sent me so that i could guest design for them in march so these were some of the stencils that i chose so this first one is called mm coffee and i just thought that would be great for a background especially on coffee themed cards so the second stencil that I chose is this gorgeous mega flower and this is the stencil that we're going to be using in today's video. It's absolutely gorgeous and I love how you could just use sections of it depending on the size card that you're creating. I couldn't resist choosing the cat love stencil. I love how the tails create hearts and that's a really good size stencil. It's six by nine. Then I chose this gorgeous flower. This is the flower explosion stencil. It, this is a six by six stencil. I also chose this bare rainbow stencil as well, which is another six by nine stencil. And again, that would be great for creating backgrounds, ink blending, using your embossing powders as well. And then the final stencil that I chose is this gorgeous layered stencil. This is a set of four and it's the layered mixed flowers two stencil. And what I really love about this is because you get four stencils, two for the flowers and then two for the leaves, you could use them separately. So I love the fact that this stencil has got more than one use. You don't have to use all four of them together. And I really think you could create some fun backgrounds using them separately. So I'm really looking forward to using that in an upcoming video as well and sharing that with you. So for today's video, I'm going to get out my waffle flower grip mat and for the card that we're going to be making today, we're going to be keeping it nice and simple and just using our embossing powders. So I've got a panel of white cardstock which is five and three quarters squared and I've just used my anti-static powder bag on the cardstock. Now because the card is the same size as the stencil, I am going to need to use some low tack tape just to hold that in place. Obviously if your card was smaller, then the grip mat would hold the stencil in place perfectly but um yeah i'm working on the card panel that's the same size as the stencil today for the effect that i want so i'm just using some mint tape to tack that down and then i've got my wow embossing ink pad and i've got a very small blending brush you can see there that i've <laughs> gone and contaminated it with some white pigment ink but that's okay we'll be able to um just clean that off our ink pad by continually rubbing on the same spot so i'm not too worried about that so i'm using a blending brush here and i'm trying very carefully just to kind of brush in one direction around the edges of the flowers because the stencil is very thin and so I don't want to risk getting any ink underneath the kind of thin lines between the petals. You can also go direct to paper with your ink pad as I've done just to fill in the gaps in the middle of the flowers and then you can see that we've got a really crisp impression. So I'm going to be using this gorgeous Wow Embossing Trio today. This is the new Dappled Pearl Effects Trio from Wow Embossing Powder. And the three colours are Laguna, um, Newport and Oceanside. So I'm using Newport for the centre of the flower. It's kind of like a green. I want to say it's kind of a hint of lime and a hint of olive green. Um, it's got glitter and it's really, really pretty. Then I'm going in with the darker blue, um, or darker teal, sorry, and this is Laguna. And I'm just kind of adding that thinly because I don't want any kind of harsh lines when we add the other colour. And then the final colour I'm adding on here is Oceanside. These colours are absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, they look really, really, really pretty when the heat set as well. So I'm just putting the excess back in the pot and then I realised when I've heated my heat tool up to the hottest setting that I've still got a little bit of powder on my desk and also on the card panel. So I've just wiped that off with my cloth and then I'm just going to heat set it from behind. I'm particularly doing it from behind for these powders because there is glitter in them and I don't want it blowing off anywhere. I also don't want any kind of gaps in the embossing that we've created either. So it's always a good little tip to heat from underneath if you're worried about bits moving around. Once it's set, you can just quickly go over the top and just make sure that you've not missed anywhere and then we've got this gorgeous flower and um, heat embossed i absolutely love this stencil i think it's so beautiful and i'm just going to keep it really simple today i've got this stamp set from concord and ninth all the hellos and i'm going to use that lovely bold circle hello stamp i'm going to ink it up with some black versifying claire ink and then I'm going to clear heat emboss it. I'm just using my glass mat magnets just to hold my panel down a little bit because there is a little bit of warping and I really want to get a good crisp stamped impression. You could, of course, use a stamping platform here if you prefer, but I just love using my acrylic blocks. I find them just a lot easier to use than my stamping platform. Um, so, yeah, I'm just using that today. 
Um, let me know in the comments as well what you think to my new glass mat. I'm absolutely loving it. I was getting really frustrated with my black mat. Firstly, because it's not great for filming on. I was getting a lot of reflections. But secondly, if I got any ink on it, sometimes I didn't realise. And then I'd end up getting ink all over my fingers and my project. Um, I couldn't really see where I needed to clean up my mat. So I felt like having a lighter coloured mat would really help um, me with my mess and also with filming. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. It was a little treat for myself and I was really excited when it came. Um, it's from Glassboard Studio and they have a glass mat of the month and this was the February glass mat of the month and I absolutely love the daisy pattern. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. I love the fact that it's magnetic as well. Uh, so I, as I've used today, I found that very useful and I have been using that feature. So anyway, back to the cards. So I'm just matting this to a layer of six by six black card stock. I've used my Kalau glue in that small bottle there. I'm just making sure that it's nice and flat. So I like to turn it over and put some pressure on because you do get warping when you heat emboss. So it's just a way of making sure it, it sticks to that panel nice and flat. I'm going to add some of the card bling here. I'm just using a wax pencil. I'm just kind of playing around with placement. As many of you who watch my channel know, this bit seems to take me forever. I do normally edit a lot of it out, but it didn't take me too long today to decide. I absolutely love these little flat back sequins as well. They've not got a hole in the middle. Uh, they're nice and flat. They don't add too much bulk to a card front, if that's a concern for you. And they just look, they're really pretty. Uh, and I love the fact they come in different sizes. So I've stuck those on. I'm then working on a six and a half inch card blank today. And I'm just going to stick that card panel into the center of that. Again, using some Kalau glue. And then that is the finished card for today. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. As always, all the products that I've used will be linked in the description box below. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and leave me a comment. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, then please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.